Hey guys and welcome to episode 2 of season 4, the final season of the Barcelona Crew Mate for FIFA 16. We're going to start off today's episode by signing Neymar. Yes, Neymar is back at Barcelona. £105 million it was for Neymar to return from Atletico Madrid back home to Barcelona. And what a way to start off today's episode. If you guys can go ahead and drop a like rating, that'll be greatly appreciated. Make sure you drop a comment down below on players that you want me to sign in the this transfer window and obviously the upcoming January transfer window later on this season. Make sure also click that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. So we're going to sign Neymar to start off today's episode and also pick up a 3-1 win against Arsenal. Great way to start off today's episode. Fabinho has been sold to Manchester City for £13 million. The right back has departed the club and he's now a Manchester City player. Three pre-season tournament games we won all three games which leads us to the semi-finals. A game against to Manchester United. We win this game, we could be playing Juventus or Arsenal in the preseason tournament final. If we do make it to the final and we do beat Manchester United, I will be playing the final game. Obviously, the final, obviously, we want to play it and want to pick up our first piece of silverware for this season. We put in an offer for Hakim and Stuart, the young man from AC Milan. We're going to simulate this semi final game against Manchester United. Let's hope that we can make it to the final. A few changes to the lineup. Actually, Otamendi receives a red card. So he won't be playing for the final. Uh, Lacazette picks up a goal in the 17th minute to make a 1-1 as Blind did take a lead for United. Lacazette picks up a second in the 71st minute. And it's a 2-1 win against Manchester United, which leads us to the pre-season tournament final we, when we could be picking up our first piece of silverware. You can probably tell from the title that we have two opportunities in today's episode to actually pick up two pieces of silverware. We win two games in today's episode. We pick up two pieces of silverware to start this fourth season. Actually, the uh, second game, obviously, to pick up a piece of silverware is actually a Super Cup game. Obviously, the the Champions League winner versus the Europa League winner. It's the UEFA Super Cup, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And that game will be played later on in today's episode against Everton. So we're facing Juventus in the final of the pre-season tournament games. Obviously, if we win this game, it's one piece silverware. One piece silverware that doesn't really count too much. Pre-season tournament doesn't really matter, but we still want to win this game. Give, give ourselves... A bit more in the transfer budget when he does come to the transfer budget obviously signing Neymar for 105 million pounds took out a lot of our transfer budget so we win this game we pick up a piece of silverware and also some funds added to the transfer budget I'm starting a 4-3-3 formation for this game no Suarez no Neymar I think Neymar is starting but I know that I'm starting a bit of a weaker side but Messi will be starting this game in this 4-3-3 formation we can see the event aside actually resting a few players also but they do have the likes of Martinez Chiellini Alexandro Isla Kadira Pereira Morata and Mandzukic as the striker it's a very very front two obviously Morata and Mandzukic very very two strong attackers for you Juventus. Juventus actually had the first chance in this game as Mandzukic's shot is actually denied by Tostigan who did start in goals this game. Like I said, I started a bit of a weaker side. Obviously, no Dav De Gea in goals for this uh, cup final game. But straight from that, Juventus have a corner. The cross is going to be a short corner. You can see they do pass it. Their man Marquisio is going to cross it in back post to find Mandzukic. And Mandzukic is a very, very big threat inside the area, especially when it comes to crosses. Juventus take a 1 0 lead in the early stages of this game. We'll look to hit back in the 25th minute. Lacazette plays the ball to Alexis Sanchez as his shot goes straight to the Juventus goalkeeper. From that, the Juventus goalkeeper does play that one out to Marquisio as he plays it to Chiellini. They're looking to play it wide, but Murray Goethe does well to pick up the ball there. He plays it to Hector Bellerin who looks to cut inside. He does do so as he plays it to Pogba who plays it to Alexis Sanchez and this time Alexis Sanchez puts the ball into the back of the net. It's 1-1 against Juventus in the 28th minute of this game and we do level this at 1-1 going into the later stages of this first half. In the 36th minute, Tillemans with the cross to find Mario Goethe with the header. It's 2-1 in the space of 10 minutes. We picked up two goals. Good cross there from Tillemans. He's actually started well so far this season. Season, or really so far in this game he has done well during the simmed games that I did obviously simulate during the group stages of this preseason tournament in the 44th minute just before halftime Juventus had a golden chance to put themselves 2-2 uh, on level terms going to halftime and Morata's shot is going to go over the goal in the 
third minute, Juventus looked to get on the attack as Isla plays the ball through to, I think it was Asamoah there. Yes, it is Asamoah. He looks to cut inside. He plays it to Marquisio. Marquisio's going to go for goal. He actually hits the post. The rebound falls to Mario Mandzukic. The Croatian has put the ball into the back of the net, but he is offside. Man Mandzukic has been called offside by the linesman, and that was a chance for Juventus to make it 2-2, and you can see that he was offside. But what a chance that was for Marquisio. When he did take the shot, it wasn't really a goal-scoring opportunity. I think it did come off a deflection. That is why it did go on target. In the 68th minute, Lacazette has a long shot. It's actually going to hit the crossbar. Alexis Sanchez with the rebound. He just could not put that one on target. And scores are going to main at a 2-0 advantage to ourselves. In the 82nd minute, Mario Goethe does play the ball through to Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez does have some rumours. Juventus did push their players up in the later stages of the second half. Alexis Sanchez crosses that one in to the back post. And... Lionel Messi with the header, it's 3-1 in the 85th minute, and we now, now take a 3-1 advantage against Juventus. But before this game did end, Juventus looked to get a goal back, make it 3-2, maybe some late drama, as their shot was saved from Tostigan. Straight from that, Tostigan with the throw out, and Messi does very well there to make sure that the ball did go between his legs. Messi's making his one to goal, skips around that attacker. Still going Messi, could this be a fantastic solo goal? Yes it is, and in the 90th minute to seal the victory for ourselves, to pick up our first piece of silverware for this season, a pre-season tournament game, pre-season tournament cup. It's a 4-1 win against Juventus, a very, very dominating performance against Juventus. Juventus did pick up the first goal, but ever since they did pick up that first goal, we were all over Juventus, and you can see we picked up a 4-1 win against Juventus. A very, very good win there. A 4-1 win against Juventus. And like I did say, we pick up our first piece, first piece silverware for this fourth and final season of the Barcelona crew mode. I want to try and win every single piece silverware that we could win for this season and we've done we've done that once. Could we do that again later on in today's episode? Like I said. We do have the Super Cup game when it is the Champions League winner versus the Europa League winner. And the Europa League winner from last season was actually Everton. So it's Barcelona versus Everton for the Super Cup later on in today's episode. You can see, even though that we've spent £105 million on Neymar and we have bought in Tillemans and we are looking to buy uh, Hakim Mansour, we still have loads of funds. We still have an extra £57 million. And to be honest, it's due to the fact that we have sold quite a number of players in, in this season so far. Uh, last episode, we did sell Sergio Berto. We did sell Fabinho earlier on in today's episode. And like you guys did say in the previous episode, I will be looking to sign the players that have been bought into Barcelona uh, in real life. So the likes of Gomez, uh, Digne was another player, the left back. Uh, Dennis Suarez was another player from Villarreal. All those players I'm looking to bring in, uh, obviously, because in real life they've signed for Barcelona. So they're the players I'm looking to bring in. Hakim Mansour is another signing of this transfer window. I think he's like the third signing now. And welcome Hakim Mansour to Barcelona. Like I did say in the previous episode, I'm looking for some youth to go along with some experienced players because we have an insane team. The likes of Neymar is 92 rated. Messi I think is 95 rated. Suarez is 91 rated. Pogba is 90 rated. Lacazette is 91 rated. I want to play with players that do have some youth in them and like I did say I have a special series planned once we do finish this fourth and final season of the Barcelona crew mode. Kingsley Coman is another signing. So after signing Manstua we've signed Kingsley Coman from PSG on a loan deal. So at the end of the season he'll be going back to PSG but obviously this is the final season and once we do finish this final season uh, season 4 of the Barcelona crew mode, really there's no use to sign Kingsley Coman. So we might as well just bring him in on a loan deal for this fourth and final season. So we're heading into the Super League game against Everton. This is going to be our chance to pick up our second piece silverware for this fourth season already in today's episode. I'm starting a bit more of a stronger side. You can see a 4-3-3 formation, Pjanic, Iniesta, and Tillemans in the midfield. That is pretty much going to be our strongest midfield. Uh, Neymar, Suarez, and Messi. When was the last time we had the MSN partnership in our squad? I think it was at the end of Season 2 because Neymar did leave at the start of Season 3. So Neymar finally returns to the club, and we are back with the MSN partnership on top. That is the Everton side, Ross Barkley, uh, Dos Sanos, um, McCarthy, 
a decent Everton side, but really you take a look at my Barcelona side and you take a look at the Everton side, we should be picking up the win here and picking up our second piece, Silva. And you can see we got off to the perfect start and we didn't really have to even try for that goal. In the seventh minute, Everton actually score an own goal as Pjanic tries to claim it as his own. But you can see it was an absolute stuff up there from Tim Howard in goals for Everton. He actually played it backwards and it's gone into the back of the net to ourselves. It's a 1-0 lead against Everton and we've got off to the perfect start. I wanted to show you guys I wasn't playing on any sliders. Nothing was happening. So you can see... We take a look at the game settings. You can see the user gameplay customization is all on 50, which means it's on the default and CPU gameplay customization is all on 50. So everything was on the default, obviously the, the default, all on 50. And Everton just had a massive stuff up there. And because of that, we put ourselves one in the lead. We could have made it two new on the 17th minute as Andre Siniesta was making his one to goal as he actually hit the crossbar. In the 38th minute, just before this first half did end, Messi's making his one to goal. He should make it 2-0. He actually plays it inside. The ball falls out to Pjanic. He takes a shot. Tim Howard with the save to make sure that this one does remain at a 1-0 advantage to ourselves. Not long in the second half. In the 60th minute, it's actually Everton who do have a corner. Dalafe who does cost that one in to try and find one of their men inside the area. Their header is actually going to go over the goal where it's actually going to hit the netting on top of the goal. So scores are going to remain at a 1-0 advantage to ourselves. Everton trying to get a goal back, but not even putting their shots on target isn't really going to do anything for themselves. In the 74th minute, Everton are making their way into goal here. You see they play the ball inside to find Giovanni De Santos. He takes a shot, and it is Dav De Gea who did start this game in goals with the save. Resulting in that, Tillemans does play the ball through to Messi. Now Messi's going to look to cut inside. Still on it, Messi plays it back to Tillemans, who plays it through to Neymar. Neymar with the chip to try and get it over the top of Tim Howard. And his chip trying to get it over the top of Tim Howard is saved by, obviously, Tim Howard. In the 82nd, Andres Iniesta plays the ball to Suarez as he plays it to Neymar, who plays it through to Tillemans, and that is a fantastic finish there from Tillemans. A new signing for Barcelona. For Barcelona picks up his first goal in this career med series. He makes it 2-0. And the young man obviously makes us put a, put ourselves 2-0 on the lead with only about seven minutes to go in this game. And we're pretty much going to win two trophies in today's episode. Two pieces of, two pieces of silverware in today's episode. You can see just how he opened up his body and how he finessed that one into the back of the net. Tillemans makes it 2-0. It's a 2-0 win against Everton in the, uh, you could say, the UEFA Super Cup. So, obviously, it's the Champions League winner versus the Europa League winner. It's a 2-0 win against Everton, and we have won our second piece of silverware for this episode and for the fourth season. So, so far, we've done what we've wanted to do. We want to win every single piece of silverware for this fourth season to end off this Creamate series. We've had two chances, and we've done it both times. Let's hope that we can go on to win the league, win the domestic cup, and win the Champions League for the third time this crew made series and also for the second straight season. It's a 2-0 two, two win against Everton. It's our second piece of silverware for this fourth season. It's very, very nice to see. It's actually Mark Bartra who is going to lift up the trophy, who did start as the captain for this game. We have done it, guys. We have won the, the Super Cup. Mark Bartra lifts it up, and we are the Super Cup winners. We've obviously defeated the Europa League winners. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you go ahead and drop a like rating. Drop a comment down below that I can respond to. Also, we're still in the transfer window. Who do you want me to sign? Click that subscribe button. Also, if you are new to my channel, click subscribe, and I'll see you all on my next video.